I feel the master. I feel we the Y'all ready? ready? They ready? Well, come on. We well, come on. Ready. From midfield now. Screen pass. Jacobs makes a man miss. We Chuck ready. Jacobs inside the 35. We ready? We ready? We ready. Come on. Smith again. And the touchdown for the Aggies. Hand off McCarty, and a couple of yards, the ball comes free. And the Aggies have it. Next thing go later, tracking hard to come to do the rest. Step in the way. Kennedy on the roll. Throws in the corner, cut, touchdown. Travis Van Leeuwen. And I'ma take him out the game, y'all. It ain't no Give it off to Turbin on the left side. There he goes through his hole. He's into the second level. Breaks a tackle and breaks away to the 45, to the 50, to the 40. Turbin to the 30. Turbin to the 20. He's got the angle and he'll score a touchdown. An 80-yard run for my, uh, Robert Turbin. And he has now set the all-time single-season scoring record with a big, big exclamation point. Straight ahead, McCarty. Couple yards. I think the ball came free. It did at the 17. Who's got it? As he gets the ball, he's dancing around. Oh, you got Gallagher. Got that club up in there and knocked that ball down. Turbin on the turn. He could go again. Turbin to midfield. Grimes trying to track him down, and he finally does. If you're ready, why you stumbling into the floor? Setting up the screen. Morrison has room to run. Look out. Stanley Morrison. Harvey can't get there. Touchdown, Utah State. And he's in trouble, and he's hammered. Boje feeling Moyatu is in his face. Fourth and two face at Utah State at the Idaho 22. Dialavea in motion. Hand off to Turbin, they go to the bread and butter, and he got it, down to the 18 yard line. It's Smith again. Smith inside the five, Smith driving to the goal line, and he's in for the touchdown. Drop play, it's McCarty. Can't get to the outside. Billy Moyatu throws it down. You ain't rented for us, cause you ain't rented for me. Cordy G, chop a knock. Third and eight. Delivers a strike for a first down. Van Lewin, the catch of the 10 yard line. We come to throw in both in the knees. See our folks in the free. And goal for the one. Straight ahead, he's in. So we bust your ball. The buses ain't hard. Stack them up, I'm knocking them down. Another gop in the ground. Boy, who's stopping me now? the handoff on the no, he fakes it to him. Kennedy's gonna keep it and has a first down to the 10. I didn't twist it up the game. There's a new turban now from the two. Drives towards the goal line and he's in. Touchdown, Utah State. Reader's looking to throw it. Goes to the end zone and it is intercepted. As a further review, the defender did not have complete possession. Pitch to Toomer, cuts it back, hit short. Here we go again, game on the line, fourth and goal from the eight. Vandals need a touchdown and this one's over. Here's Reeder to throw the ball, he's got time to throw, he rifles knocked down, and it's loose, and it's picked up by Bobby Wagner. Wagner intercepted the ball at the goal line. Utah State does win, they do win, justice is served. Coach, uh, words can't put into, it's <laughs> unbelievable, what a game. Uh, unbelievable, both teams fought extremely hard, and yeah, I'm just so proud of these kids. I, you know, coaches say that all the time, but you know, we've been through some tough, tough times, and we've won three close ones in a row, and we lost five close ones early, and the, these kids just continue to fight their tails off, and I'm unbelievably proud of them, love them to death. Well, hey, you look at Bobby Wagner, your senior leader, making that play at the end. What did you tell this defense when you knew that play was coming back, you didn't get the interception, the catch that they said was a catch. What did you tell those guys? Well, you know, we've been working on our red zone defense real hard for about the last four or five weeks, and we've played better. 
But what we simply told them was, well, I felt like they were playing good in the red zone. The middle of the field was our problem this football game for the most part. And, you know, I felt like if we could get them in a situation, we could turn around and make a play. It's hard when you make a play and then you don't get it and it keeps getting reviewed. But the bottom line, these kids got it done. I think they believe they can get stops down there now, and that's a big step for this program. You mentioned us earlier in the year you have tough-minded kids. I don't know if any program's gone through more ups and downs than your program, but this has to be a program builder in a lot of ways. It absolutely is. You know, it gets us to five wins. We haven't been in this spot for a long, long time, and there's two weeks left in this season, and we're still fighting for something very, very special. So that right there, the young men still have their goals that they set for themselves at the beginning of the season. It's still there at Utah State with two games left, and that is definitely a huge step in the right direction. Now, Coach, let's just talk about the emotional level, the way that the overtime went. <laughs> well, how did you feel, especially going into the second overtime? Well, it's the second time this year we've been in overtime, and we lost the first one on a heartbreaker. And, you know, I, I, just, I just really felt like the offense was doing a nice job of moving the ball consistently and they were making the plays. Turnovers has been our nemesis, and I believe this is the third week in a row we've won a football game and lost the turnover battle, which defies all odds in college football. But I just felt like if we could hold on the football, we could hang in there. Their emotion was terrific. This, this, this team is senior-driven with tremendous leadership, and it's very important to them. Well, and I know your bowl hopes are still out there, the winning season and all those things. I know you want to enjoy this one, though. Enjoy it. Congratulations. I will, I will absolutely enjoy it, <laughs> no question. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Coach Anderson.